<laughs> yeah. Your so father always cracked open a can of the Green Monster. <laughs> I think shootan has got this, man. I uh, think. I think. It'll you think Shutan would win an event in South America? I think. Uh, I want you to go to South America. I I'd stay there for like a few years. I would <laughs> love to. Oh, it's all Let's go! Oh, he did go early. Okay. All right. Yeah, I always see Shizan pull out the Almar in group battles. And what? I still really haven't figured out why, but, like, his Almar is the best. But, like, anyway, off so. the bat, Ashimo just, like, destroyed all of the Pikmin. Yeah, that's kind of well, happened. We got 625. Already a good start. I do like that. He, I don't think it's all that intentional yet, but Shutan was already favoring the red Pikmin, which will kind of just ignore Shaku. Yeah, that's important. Right. Oh, the Olimar is so light. Oh, he has to keep out. He has yeah, he has to camp him. And, like, the stocks matter even more in crew battle, so, yeah. First stock means a lot. Oh, my God. The hit stop for the Pikmin. Oh, the purple oh. Pikmin actually saving him there. Get that purple. Got them perps. He needs the first stock. Uh oh. And then he can uh -oh. farm Pikmin, uh -oh. but it doesn't uh -oh. even matter. Asimo doesn't drop those. Yeah, and as soon as the F tilt connected, I kind of knew he was probably dead. Okay. What if we just have a normal match? You know, like they both go to the last stock and it's the last hit thing. You know, I think that's the optimal case for. <laughs> what if Shuton just ran up and back aired like right now? Uh, oh, he man. could probably do that if he could actually approach without getting hit. Dude, yeah, Ashima was doing a really good job of just walling Shuton. He is yes. the best Ryu player in the world. He really is. Ooh. Oh. Okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, you uh, you're right. Sometimes you just gotta throw out that purple back air until it hits and kills from full screen. Uh, you know what? We can maybe put um, the stock count, the crew stock count on the screen. So 20, 20, 20. Yeah, that would be really 20, helpful. 20. For yeah, us yeah. And the people at It's like my fourth favorite year. Oh, that's scary. Man, that's the most really close to killing Olimar. I think it's yeah. like a nice confirm. I think like. Uh, yeah, that backer okay. won't quite kill. He killed kill. all the Pikmin, too. Okay, he has one purple from the ledge. And he got sometimes it's all you need. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I say one? I meant two. What's his wait, he might be dead. Oh, I need to get off the ledge. Oh, Shutan is... He's got no jump. He's trapping him. Really hard. Oh. He uses focus to land a lot. Ooh. But that's, that's another thing, too. Olimar doesn't really have... Like, he has down air. Or not down air. Uh, up tilt, I mean. But Let's go! Shutan makes it work regardless. That purple back there is so good. He At least when Shutan's using it. Oh, the parries, man. Oh, Asimo the always eye. has the par like the right parry he needs to punish. Oh, that's I, another one. I don't care. As long as Shutan wins this game, he can take like three or four more stocks. Yeah, it's true. Alomar, if he gets like a good lineup, like assuming he wins this game, like he can actually just take two stocks potentially off the next person. But we'll see. We'll see. Asimo is so resilient, too. This is, like, this is going down to the wire like I expected. Look at that damage. Oh, yeah. He's I like how Shuton's using that Nair, too, as a multi-hit to try and break through focus. Because Olimar doesn't really have a lot of those in order to, to break Great through. Crap. But look at this combo. Here we oh, go. He's double jab. Here we go. Oh, focus, too. Sometimes I watch Shuton just running people and start jabbing with Olimar. And I feel like like he's not supposed to do that. But it works every That's time. So me and DeBuzz have VOD reviewed Shutan like pretty pretty extensively, and that's like a very common phrase from DeBuzz is <laughs> I feel like that shouldn't work, but Shutan just does it. <laughs> Maybe that's why it works. <laughs> oh wait, he has a blue throw potentially. Mm. Yeah! Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Woo! Let's go! Oh, okay, 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 okay. oh no! You, he's got to go strategize. Right. No, he said he's gonna dap him up. Oh, so you can tell his story behind this. This, this morning, uh, we were at Shutan's house, and we taught Kaninabe, Mia, and Shutan how to dap people up. Uh, and the way that Riddles described it to them was <laughs> Amer American handshake. <laughs> was <laughs> and so now uh, Kaninabe specifically, every time I see him, daps me up. And Kaninabe is Kaninabe. really hilarious, by the way. I I really wish more people knew Japanese. His stream is really <laughs> he, funny. <laughs> he had this. I don't. I can't say this on VG Bootcamp. Actually, <laughs> um, I'll tell you later. <laughs> uh, Gact looking, looking, looking a little bit, a little bit miffed that his his golden boy went down. Honestly, that went about as I expected. Like, I just expected it to be like a last stop game. H box. How do you feel, Captain? How do you feel about how your your primary player? 
My primary player? How do you feel about him? How did, how did he do? Oh, my first guy? Yeah. Oh, he did great. Uh, I think, like you said, uh, it's hard to kind of pick a guy like Shrutan. The important thing was getting that first win. We now have kind of pick advantage, and I'm pretty sure he's going to take a stock off anyone in the throne. Yeah. Who do you think they're going to send in next? Uh, against Shrutan, maybe Ken? Ken would be a not terrible choice. Ken uh, Shrutan usually... Ken. Oh, wait, they have a they have graphic. Yeah, they have can a we, graphic. Can we show that? Watch, can we show battle. that graphic? The crew battle overlay is there. They have a, a crew battle overlay over on the the JP stream. Yeah, there it is. So mm. on the on team Gact, Ashimo I gone. Like, I like that spelling for Dubuz. Daba Chan? Dubuz. Dubuz. For the Dubuz. dubs, that's why. Dub Buzz. Oh, Pasiri oh, Man. Uh, Pasiri Man? Oh. They sent Pasiri Man. We in. got okay. this. Okay, so Shudan's really good at Alomar Fox, but I feel like uh, it's so hard to avoid dying I early to Fox. Like, yeah, you can rush him down really fast. Well, so I was going to say the, the rushdown aspect is there for, uh, in Pasiri Man's favor, but he also weighs, like, like half a pound. Yeah. So true. if Shutan gets, like, double perped up or gets, like, a blue on yeah. a lot of stages, he can take some early, early yeah, stocks. And Pasiri Man's, like, not a very, like, overly aggressive player, like, at the start of the match. So mm. he might get enough time to actually get a good lineup. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Pasiri Man has to be careful of, like, letting Shutan get that lineup while he's, like, waiting back. Because he does very much like to, like, laser or, like, wait for his opportunity to run in there or dash attack or whatever. Yeah, I love watching Pasiri Man, though. I love Pasiri Man. Very cool player. Him and Kaninabe both I love watching. Yeah. The, the two Japanese foxes. They, like, play so differently, too. It's interesting. Dubois was playing Pasiri Man, or not Pasiri Man, uh, Kaninabe yesterday, and he was, like, if his punish game was like just a tiny okay. bit better, okay. he would be almost as good as light. Yeah, he's crazy. He does some crazy stuff too. I think he just likes to go for flashy, crazy stuff. Uh, let's but go shoot on. Yeah, you know, get off the stage twice. Gotta get out. And you know, if you're a team age box, you just want shoot on to get at least two stocks here. At I least think, one. E I yeah, think even two is oh. possible. Two is possible, but even one stock here means that Shutan goes positive. You know, yeah. lose three, take four, and going even like even going even, taking three stocks is already like that's all you need yeah. to do in a crew battle. So Shutan taking four is, yeah. is already massive. Oh wait, look at this damage though. Oh, he tried to up smash out his shield. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, oh I my. think the same man like. Heard we were saying about him letting get a good lineup. He was oh, very gosh. much like off the bat going. But just Pasiri Man doesn't even speak English. I don't think. Oh. <laughs> ah! Yes, Eight. kill him, kill him. Eight. Oh, mistakes were made. That air dodge was very it. bad. Pasiri Man did not punish it. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. The oh. Pikmin all had the Pikmin all had to dash back to the edge of the stage. So we can do anything. Yo, nice catch. Wait, hold on, dude. Yeah, Pasiri Man is is pushing oh. some buttons. All right, he evens it up. Ah. He evens it up. Oh, what Ashimo. Thinking? Ashimo and Pasiri Man are on the same uh, team. Oh yeah, Ashimo's popping off. Okay, I think. It's Fox. We can just. Oh. You know who I think would be a good pick here? I mean, a yes. lot of characters. No. Zomba. I think you send Zomba for Fox. Zomba to he fight has Fox. A, he has a really good record on light. He's very good in the matchup. He can kind of just evaporate stocks. Live and coaching. And, live coaching. For and less. like with their with their remaining lineup, none of these guys really hard countered uh, hard countered Zomba that bad, except for Debuzz. These are just so like having, by having the way. them send Debuzz in this early too means that we can then send Hero. As Zomba a does go to most light, yeah. Okay, I'm convinced. I think Zomba's uh, our Zomba. pick here. Yeah, it was all HBox's decision, by the way. Uh, oh, Last yes. just gave him some. Yeah, water. HBox is I'm the a, figurehead. I'm allowed to have an advisor. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure that, like. What's a um, leader without an advisor? That's what I'm saying. A I'm sure that, leader. like, Om Nauto and all them over there are, are giving Gact advice. Yeah. Where is Gact? Uh, I, got, I got him more supportive. Oh, okay. That's even more important than what he's doing now. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. We want to save, like, we obviously want to save, like, Riddles and Mia. Till much later. Yeah. Um, I think we. Riddles is like a, just a stock, like. He's a stock. Yeah, he's bin. like a garbage like, disposal. He's like a bad crew battle for Riddles is only taking four stocks. My my thought process, too, is like our big counter pick for Akola is going to be Mutace. Mm, so I think like yeah. Mute is. A, and then like having Lima, which is surprising, but Lima is a really good anchor in crew battles. So mm. I want to save Lima as much as possible. But is this a first-time match? 
Have these I don't think these two have. I don't think these two have ever been on the same continent yeah. until now. I, the only time Passeri men's like been in U.S. I think was Frostbite and then Zombo wasn't even born yet. Yeah, it, one and then the other <laughs> place was France. Ooh. And I don't think Zombo's been to France yet. I closed the chat. How do I get back? <laughs> I I want to say oh. No. Oh, I'm oh you, guys, you guys are gone. You guys now. are dead. You're gone. Dead to me. Lost in time. You'll never see you guys again. I'm so glad that chat's gone. <laughs> Hate you guys. Oh, yeah, I really want to see. I really want to see Viserion Man Zamba. Wait, they didn't do the countdown. They well, I mean, it's, it's three stocks to three. They just went. I got chat back. Where is your crew battle etiquette, Zamba? Hello, Hungry Box is eating a chicken katsu sandwich at the moment, so I am filling in for commentary. Where did he get that? Whoa, is that Sean from the school? Yeah, damn right. Sean damn from right. school, Sama. Hello, hello. So, I mean, pretty standard start here, Box versus uh, Rob. These two have never played each other, No, right? they no, have never first played. Time. And, and Zamba is like light-pilled, you know? Zamba played. does have, I don't think, a fully positive record on Light, but he has beaten Light multiple times. Yeah. So he's good at this matchup. And, like, played a lot of sets against Light, like, in locals and... He's kind of uh, getting Passiri manned right now, though. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm curious. Like, what's... How does someone who's fi faced Light so many times deal with Fox that doesn't play, like, Light? Well, plays like Passeriman specifically because he has such a polarizing playstyle compared to how mm -hmm. Light does it. And it might seem to have an effect yeah, on him Light at the moment, but... I haven't said that, so I'm getting a grab. Nice parry. Oh, he wants that Zombear. Oh, oh. Texas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like, get he him just attack. stood there. Yeah, I'm quite surprised that uh, Pesaramon didn't hold shield there. Oh. Uh-oh. Zombo a little bit a too high percent. Kill. Both players oh. are so reluctant to lose their first start. What a lead could be massive here. Oh, Zomba at the ledge. What will he do? He will it's probably down here. tilt. Oh, oh jump hits. And he jumped in the blast zone. That's not what you want. And now Rob has Fox at kill percent. Just kidding, we're gonna roll into that up smash. Oh man, this is a little, it's a little close. Dead even, bro, dead even. I like Fox's up throw, purely because it doesn't combo. It, it looks, looks cool. like it should. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> tech chase opportunity for Zomba, but no, Pissari Man's able to roll out and get shield up. Yeah. I like Zomba's tech chases. He either gets like really good stage control or he just gets a follow up. Zomba's usually. really good at doing the down tilt train too. Yeah. Mm. I think it's really good against Fox, too. I think yeah, especially on a character like Fox, it's just going to go on forever. It is <laughs> weird how often Passiri Man is getting away with doing these, like, landing fares because they're I just clanking out Gyro. It's a, it's a weird approach option, but... but <laughs> he's not even approaching with it. Like, he's, yeah. he's doing it as, like, a, a shield to his landing so that he doesn't get caught by Gyro on it. Right. Oh, uh, it, it, it means that he doesn't have to, like, burn air dodge and maybe get caught in the lag of air dodge. It's a very good option. Yeah, Passiri Man is doing a <laughs> lot of mix-ups, man. He's... I just really like Pissari Man's like hot and cold fox playstyle. It's really interesting for me. Oh. Yeah, he's very good at, at picking his opportunities, but I mean that's kind of also describing Zomba pretty heavily. So it's it's weird to see the two of them like go back and forth like yeah. this. They're like, I'm gonna commit, just kidding. You're gonna commit. Wait, but you're also not committing. It's very it's tricky. Oh, what's the angle here? Yeah, oh. He actually tried his best to mix his angle. Yeah, but reading it, the course of the recovery. That dare oh. really does not care. He probably had to like super DI into this stage and hope to tech it. But Dude, that's Passeri Man like does not have any fear of Rob. Zombo was like okay. short hop nair, uh, Z drop nairing in place. Yeah. And a lot of the time you see a Rob do that and you're like run away. But Passeri Man just like ran up and up aired him. He does yeah. not care. I think he had a lot of practice versus uh, Zachary's Rob back in days two. And there's tons of Robs in, Japan, so many also. Robs in Japan. Yeah. Oh, oh no oh, way! Yeah. It doesn't matter how many <laughs> Robs are in oh, Japan. Yeah. They all gonna die to that. Side B off stage. And Hbox's team maintaining counter pickers advantage. <laughs> so <laughs> they're gonna have to send somebody in to, to uh, maybe even throw away oh, a yeah, stock again. Look at Hbox dancing in yeah. the background. <laughs> Zombo like, looks a little smug right yeah, now. Yeah, I like how <laughs> Zombo smug buff. always looks like so smug. <laughs> it doesn't matter if that was the last stock last hit game you're like hey you guys so, eliminated the wrong person yeah they, yeah they a were little so bit. certain that also Zombo i like that the boss is bro this is scripted with a, <laughs> the boss is with a u as well yeah dubs <laughs> oh i wonder what kani nabe thinks of that because i just saw i saw him sitting down on the yeah i wonder what kani nabe thinks of his uh his fox comrade 
he's probably thinking I would have won. Who's, I don't know. If he's who's Gact gonna pick? He looks like he's he's walking towards. Nobody's over there. What's a good what is he roll up he's trying to get a new player. He's just walking in laps. He's trying to get a, a sub player. He's like, yo, can I get Hikaru in here? Actually? He's done a full lap. <laughs> actually, he's done I, a full lap. I didn't know that Hikaru was here, and then I saw him sit down over on the couch there, and I looked at HBox, and I was like, oh, we yeah, should have picked Hikaru. You guys definitely massive well, out there. It, Gak didn't pick him either, because I don't think well, Hikaru is Hikaru in the building yet. Hikaru is not yet. in the bracket. Yeah, so he, maybe. he's just here. <laughs> he cannot make his mind up. He's looking all over Gacked. the venue. Gacked. Oh yeah, do you, you, want, want, do you want do you want Jordan to help? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no English. Dude, I play Sora. I play Sora. Yeah, no, I could be. Yeah. I could be that. Yo, Riddles. Riddles. Can you get me one of those? Can you get me one? Oh, yeah. The rice balls are so good. They're giving out free rice balls. I think so. Are you serious? Wait, what are you talking about? I told you. What's What's you over there? What's your listening? I told you they have like. Five I know they have a boxes. lot though. I know Dude, they have I went a lot. To a, I went to Family Mart yesterday and ate like six of the the onigiri bar balls oh that they have. Yeah. They're, I, they I are, can't stop eating. These are much better. Thank you. Also, there's Look so many this. flavors. They have kimchi chicken. I'm gonna eat this now. Well, while, while Gak struggles to figure out who his next player is. Yeah, Gak should deserves to lose. He didn't pick me. <laughs> I literally play a character Zamba hates. That's true. Zamba does hate Sora. This one we will match up anyway. Oh yeah, I want to mention this very quickly because I don't think a lot of people know this. We actually have a Reza Elsu here with us today. Yeah, but he's uh, also not picked either. Though. Yeah, and no one can recognize him because he barely really travels to Tokyo. Yeah, I think even which, some of the Japanese players were like, no, which person even Paseriman was like, who's that? He's the one playing Lima at the moment with the glasses on. Oh, yeah, it was really like funny because I asked like three different players. Japanese players who the guy playing uh, Sin is, and they're just like, bro, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen that person in my life. Speaking of Sen, though, there he is. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. Now, this match has definitely happened before. This has happened quite a few times. Yeah. Um, I think the, the record is in Zomba's favor, mm -hmm. but it's, he's only got one stock. Nah, so. bro. It's, it's Rob with one stock. That means he could you take could three. You could get zero to death three times. It's entirely possible. It's Zamba, man. I think Zamba could get like a dare kill, then just two side Bs. It's, it's definitely in the cards. That's why I'm hoping that Send is hitting every single aerial that Ness has. One of them will kill. I think all of them, actually. So. Yeah, again, we're back to where we started. Team HBox with a slight advantage of one stock, but we'll see if Team Gact will be able to um, keep up. And this is really good because with HBox, Team HBox at least, being able to, to maintain that one stock lead, they always get the opportunity to counterpick whoever Team Gact sends in. So like yeah. now Gact has had to send Send. So even if Zomba doesn't take a stock here, and Let's be honest, he probably will. He's very close to. Every uh, time I see Zamba hit someone like at the ledge and they're you like, feel like they're about to die. Like, I, I feel like there's a chance they will die. But even if Zamba only takes one stock here, it still means that Team HBox yeah. now gets yeah. to know that Send is in and get to send someone. Yeah, yeah. Three yeah. full stocks in the counter. And this is one of the easiest characters to counterpick. We I have think. Mia, but I don't think we want to burn Mia yet, even though that's like the, the most obvious Ness counterpick. Right. Zamba, though? Zomba kind of getting Zombie? cooked. Maybe oh, yeah. not. Zombie? Gets the Zombear off. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. How does he get off Send the ledge? Sending a bit of trouble here. Despite oh, being in the lead. Oh, Ooh. Zomba. He can gear. make it back. Uh, yep. Oh, my wait, God. Hbox is screaming at the back. He's <laughs> by this gyro. Zomba's Burning out his air dodge. He, he should, should be, be okay. Uh, That's no, a uh, rare miss from Sin. You don't really see him drop that recovery Huge like that. for Team Hbox. Zomba versus Passeri Man was three stocks to three, right? So yes. Zomba, yep. Zomba now Zomba now has MVP. Yes. He dies now, but he got it. He got a fourth stock, so that I think that, that secures huge. Zomba as MVP because Shuton only took three. Mm. Oh. So now, who does send in versus Sen? That's the question. Who and Hbox is walking over. Bars. Oh, the list? Yeah. <laughs> Hbox is I think Mia is pretty free because it's just a, like a it's don't an eighty twenty matchup. Don't send in Mia, come on man. But I think we don't want to waste Mia yet. 
Yeah, so well, I'm saying I think Mute Aces are Aqua pick. Yeah. Bro, Hbox has three coaches. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I would not send Hero for this. But who would that team <laughs> count to pick Mio? That's a, yeah, they don't really have You'd anybody to so counter you could counter just pick again. Like throw they'll, they'll throw T in probably afterward, sure, but I think we send Mia. Or you can do something yes, funny and pick Lima. No. Yeah, Mutes is Mutes is such a, a free Akola counter pick. Mia's right there. Eight bucks. Bro, you're gonna take Mia away from his random, his random squad strike. strike. This is how he trains. This is why he's the second best player. Hbox is like ripping him away from his his favorite pastime. Look how sad that he actually, looks. Uh, back at Scuffed World Tour, uh, Ludwig's Invitational, Mia and Akola did the same thing whenever whenever like they weren't on uh, for like a set. They would spend the entire time playing random squad strike. This is just really popular in Japan. Yeah, like, I think, uh, this rice uh, ball was delicious. They have tournaments for a random squad strike pretty often. <laughs> Hbox is like a mom taking him from his PC. Wait, he, what? He you genuinely like went over and were like, get really off the sad. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, genuinely yeah. looks really sad. He might uh, throw. Akola actually looks sad. He was also playing. Yeah, Akola Mia it, looked Akola's confident. Ruined. He was like, yes, I'm completely ready. Oh, wait, Ness? All right, I'll get this over with. How do I, I close chat again. How do I get back to it? I'm the wrong person to ask. Tabs too. No, the the other it wasn't another tab. It was like a. The window. Yeah, they yeah. had like. No, no, no. They had oh. No, it wasn't like that. It was like. You can have. Oh, it was a. Yeah, it was like and. Chat. The Chrome tab One was like oh window. wait I got oh it oh my wow God. I got it. You, all you had to do I didn't even know I could do that. Me <laughs> neither. Wait, how do I how do I shrink? Technology is crazy. There we yeah, go. open it and then we're good. We're good. Okay. Technology has this, gone too far. This is crazy. Hi, Conway. Shout out to Conway. That's my uh, boy. And we got, uh, yeah, we, we got Mia. Mia versus Sen. And I'm pretty sure Mia is going into like Android mode, like complete Smash Robot. Beep, like he's boop, about boop, to just pick yeah. Game to Watch. <laughs> I was playing him last night and I said, damn, this really feels like the second best player in Japan right now. Okay. It was insane. I took one game off of him. He's it is really funny speed. how tall Spencer is, though, yeah. because watching him walk around Japan is like, I, I don't know if you guys follow Lima on Twitter, but you should go to Lima's Twitter and look at his uh, his new series. It's called Normal Guy in Japan. <laughs> Everyone's just staring at him? Well, it's, uh, Spencer keeps, like, hitting his head on door frames because everybody is significantly, okay, he's, like, I think, like, 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, yeah, he's tall like that. AF. And I think it would be really funny if we also brought Dawson, uh, Big D, to oh, Japan yeah, at some be. point. It would yeah, be. that sounds like a, a content piece waiting to happen. Of just the world's tallest man in the world's shortest nation. I actually don't. What is the world's shortest nation? Does anybody in chat know? Like Someone on in chat definitely knows because they have access to Google. Yeah, true. I don't think it's Japan. I think it's like, maybe it's like the Philippines or something? Korea? Maybe. That sounds, playing, that sounds by the way. They are playing the game, but I'm more concerned about <laughs> the shortest nation. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest. I would actually would be very happy if Sin is able to take stock from Mia's game and watch. He's doing fine right now. I also know he like particularly does not like fighting game and watch. Also, No one likes fighting game and watch. Like. I think Sparrow <laughs> does. Sparrow nah, actually loves actually, fighting yeah. game a lot. <laughs> Real wrestling game watch is the most satisfying thing. Oh, oh he's got a full bucket. I mean, so Wait. bucket is proportional to the the amount that like the damage it that would have wow, hit. Wow, what a he recovery! Takes that? Yeah, what he takes a recovery! That. He's so good. But, but Sin's playing so good though. Yeah, he's playing amazing. But it's Mia. It might not matter. He just he, needs one hit. He's a hyper. He's a hyper adjuster. Is he really just waiting for like down throw bucket right now? Uh, he already used the bucket off stage oh, so that okay, he can recover okay. with it. Bacon at ledge. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That movement. It's very tricky, but Bestness, or sorry, Sin, isn't really falling for any of it. Oh, everyone forgets that four tilt like kills that four for some reason. You take those. Dude, Ness has rocks in his shoes. We all know that. I'm actually really impressed with Sin's Ooh. play right now. So good. He's been playing really good since he got to Japan. Yeah, one of like the highest.
placements at Meissen. He was the second highest placing North American yeah. player, other than Riddles, I think. Oh Ooh, my God. There that was, was a chance that kills at 30 with rage. Not too, that's if it reverses somehow. Oh, oh there it is. I was waiting for that. The bucket. Unlucky, really. Wait. If Sen can take another yeah, stock, though, we're kind of in trouble. Yeah, we needed it, Mia to go, definitely go big. Happen. Yeah, I expected Mia to just go completely insane in this matchup. But Maybe Sen is the second best player in Japan. Oh, oh, oh wait, that factor Jeez. is so crunchy, man. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, how do you get off the ledge? A lot of things kill Game & Watch right now. He got. He didn't really struggle to get off the ledge. Yeah. Just He's yeah. just like landing there, up B. Landing there, up B. Wait, kill wait, 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 kill wait, wait, wait. Oh, Wait, yes! Oh, that dash attack is OP. Hello, free cross up at the ledge. He keeps trying to, to dash attack onto that too as a two frame option. He's not getting hit, dude. Oh, that dash attack is so good. Oh, oh that back air is damn. even better. Wait, hold on. Dude. Hold, hold. Are we about to get a sin? Team Gact keeps this neck and neck. A sin dub? No way. Sin dub? No way. Nah, Mia wins this, takes two more. Sen does not be. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we heal off of that. Mm, delicioso. Wait. Juggle? Uh, he has no uh, jump. Okay, Why'd so you good. let him land? It's fine. Those up there. There it is. Oh, wait, I forgot, the, I forgot the F tilt also is a kill move. Silly me. Silly you. Very I mean, surprised, though, at, at Sen. That That's was three amazing. stocks for him. Yeah. That matchup is not good. <laughs> that matchup is doo doo. <laughs> and Mia's game watch is. Literally insane. Spencer. Spencer. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is the VG Bootcamp stream. Hi, DeBuzz. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> How does it feel in that, in that awful, awful matchup? I, yeah, I don't think the headphones reach. He's too massive. Crouch. Uh, I was pretty worried about that. It's the first thing I told Gak. Uh, but, you know, I think taking two stocks off of your arguably best player is uh, not it is true. Shabby. It's a good showing. Yeah, so we're saying that you've, you've been showing up like the second best apart from Riddles of, of all the NA players so far. In Japan. So far, yeah, I mean, two events, or one event, really. This wasn't really, it's just kind of a showcase. But I think I've always been, um, especially lately, it's like I, if I know if I'm into it, I'll get at least close. Right. And then it's like, okay, where's my mental at today? Like, am I going to win the last hit situation? But uh, if I'm into it, I, I always think I can get close with anyone. <laughs> A cola, yeah, you're playing a cola. Oh wow, it's, uh, it's pretty upsetting. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I'm not trying to be like mean or whatever, but it's just like it's so funny that we can like kind of forget about Steve because like nobody's really playing him and like whatever. It's like it was such a Wi-Fi thing for us, and then he's just over here running rampant, like getting <laughs> yeah, better, and nice. better and better and better and better. It's like, I don't know. There's no end in sight, you know. So, but I'm not looking forward to it. But it'll be a good experience regardless. That's Don't worry. Hard. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go grab. Good show in Thanks, guys. That was Spencer. That Sin. was the the most normal sized man in Japan. Yeah. Yep. Seven foot fourteen. But uh, yeah. So up next, it looks like they're sending DeBuzz in, which means that Ooh. if Mia doesn't three stock him, which for DeBuzz's sake I hope he doesn't, uh, I think that means we have our next person already decided for our side, because uh, if. I'll, I'll go ahead and tell the people. We were talking to Hero, oh. and we were like, "Hey, who do you want to fight the most?" Oh yeah. And he like the he just looked at us and he was like, "I want to fight the Buzz." <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. So we'll uh, already kind of have our our next player decided I mean, for us. Be, that would be amazing. I, I do want to see Hero versus the Buzz. The Buzz does have a lot of practice in the past with Leon, yeah. but not recently because Leon hasn't really like been around a ton. But uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Do y'all think countries like, I don't know how to say that, Air, Eritrea? Eritrea. Eritrea? I, I, I don't know what that country is. I think countries like Eritrea or Yabuchi have a smash scene. I, I don't know. Isn't that East Africa? I have no idea. Eritrea. What country? I don't remember my geography. I can't even say the name, so. Sorry, guys. Uh, U.S., 
education. You're a trio. On <laughs> you're a trio. Education. I'm on, not even from on, the on U.S. Geography. You guys are just dumb. United States geography education. Guys, I'm not from the U.S. I'm from Tennessee. Oh, yeah, true. That's definitely not on the map. <laughs> okay, so Device has played against Meister a decent amount, right? Device has, a, I think, a flawless record against Meister, too. Which was actually, uh, when Mia first came to the U.S. to Apex, everybody was talking about how they thought that, like, he wouldn't be able to win that major because DeBuzz would be in his way because DeBuzz always beats Meister. And then they didn't play. DeBuzz lost to Jackal. Oh, um, he lost Jackal's I, uh, fault. He lost to Gacton winners, I think. Oh. Uh, or no, it was Syrupin winners, I think. It was the other Ness. Um, and then Jackal for fourth place. And then Jackal made it all the way to Grands to fight against, uh, against yes. Mia. Yeah. So Mia. Mia's I, first overseas appearance. Yeah, I dope. don't think these two have ever fought in bracket. They did play friendlies last night at Shuton's house. Uh, and it was pretty back and forth, but I think yeah. Mia won most of them. Mm -hmm. Mia just has this like super amazing ability to like take like four or five seconds to not oh. get hit. Uh oh, <laughs> that uh, was almost a Smash Four yeah, moment. Yeah, I had oh. a, I had a little bit of PTSD for a second there. He did it earlier to T too, um, where he did like the the Luma up tilt into Rosa up air, and T looked over at Devise <laughs> and went four. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad it was very it funny. Go, I'm so glad it doesn't kill like that anymore. This still That used to be the, the main thing in Smash 4 2 is you would like you would hit Rosa, you would like send her upward, and Luma would stay on the ground and she would just buff her up till yeah, you would die. That's so scary. I was playing very, very, very well yeah, against Mia here. He just doesn't want to drop the stock. Like it's so important. <laughs> oh Luma's back. Yeah, that's like that's the Debuzz classic, really. Is Luma die, go camp until Luma come back. Oh, not shit. quite dead. This is even I, don't, I just don't know how he approaches when Luma's out like this. It just doesn't seem like there's a super safe one. Well, but, good yeah. thing Luma's gone. Yeah, yeah, Luma's gone. This is gonna go down to Rosa. awful in finals. Oh, hold on, come on. Rosa. Mia needs to take like one stock. Uh, oh, Nair, yeah, uh, that was really good. That's not common that he drops a juggle like that, especially on a big character. I, would, I thought like Rosa would take at least like 20, 30 more percent, or even just well, die. Well, I guess we're sending Hero. Let me tell them. Let me tell the front. Three stocks to three stocks to three. Will oh, Hero's getting his wish? Yo, are you in Bowser versus Bowser Rosa? versus Rosa? Best Bowser versus best Rosa. I don't know, Cannon man. My Rosa is pretty great. I've never seen you play Rosa <laughs> ever, but I'll believe you. I taught to Buzz everything he knows. I actually believe that, considering your coach. <laughs> he played Rosa long before <laughs> I knew him, though. <laughs> Dude, I might go get another one of those rice balls. Please do. These are like delicious. They are for everyone, and they gonna, are amazing. I'm gonna gonna leave you with chat here. Oh, strides. my favorite people. I'll be right back. I love, I love Twitch chat. Unironically. Yo, this is actually gonna be a good match. I actually really want to see Harold versus any of the like U.S. players because he hasn't been overseas ever. But not just U.S. players. I mean like any overseas players. He's just he's just godlike. Where's this is East Geek Smash for the this is this is not East Geek Smash, but East Geek Smash on YouTube to listen in Japanese. Right now Mia is giving tons of Johns. I actually don't know what he's saying. I can't hear. Ohio. Oh, why are you talking about states randomly? Uh, it's my third favorite state. Really? Yeah, I was ecstatic when I got to Japan and people kept talking <laughs> to me about it. I, they were like, Ohio gozaimasu. And I was like, oh, I love that state too. <laughs> And then they just looked at me weird. No one actually loves Ohio. I don't think anyone in Ohio loves Ohio <laughs> Ohio doesn't even love Ohio. No, no way. Oh, there yeah, he is. Harold, Harold's there. Oh, uh, this is going to be a good match. Harold's very funny, too, by the way. Yeah, I didn't speak to him until today. Normally, at tournaments, like, we just don't interact. So busy, usually. But... He was one of the first people to come today. We, we talked a little, and it was, uh, yeah, he's he's a funny guy. I think you had to have a sense of humor to main Bowser in Japan. It does seem like 
a losing battle. <laughs> a very uphill battle. And yeah, he's like, it's rare that Hero is not in top eight of like major in Japan. It's pretty crazy. And like online, he's like winning almost everything too. Is uh, I don't know. I still haven't figured out how Leon, or Leon, and Harrow make Bowser work, ever. Yeah, it's. I mean, they get the advantage of like never dying early. But uh, they still are combo <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah. Like I watch them, like I watch Harrow play like Gacked or something, yeah. and he gets comboed to like 140 <laughs> percent like right off the bat. And he's not even faced. He's like, ah, yes, now I can play the game. Ah, yes, the Bowser tax. I've been here. I've been here many a time. I'm not even phased by this. Yeah, I want to see this. I definitely want to see this. Because I feel like they both have amazing neutral, but they're just playing completely different <laughs> characters. So I really want to know what wins out in the end in this type of matchup. I actually think that Rosa and Bowser are like the same character pretty much. So, mm -hmm. oh, there's practically no difference between the two of them. But no, actually, the big thing about this matchup, and that I think Harrow knew when he asked specifically to play against a Buzz, is it is really easy to just murder Luma, and then you just have to like Bowser's fast, despite his uh, his his massive size. He's a very fast character in the grand scheme of things in Smash Brothers. So like you just. Full hop, kill Luma with a landing fair, and then you just chase Rosa down as she tries to run away. And like we already see that kind of happening here because Luma has already died twice. Yeah. Yeah. This is only moves that kill Luma. And it's not even moves that Bowser doesn't use often. It's no, just it's like, just his entire kit. Yeah. Look, there there she goes. <laughs> that dash attack killing Luma looked really funny. By Bye the Luma. Way. We'll see you later. That's so funny. This is one of the matchups, uh, like, another one is, like, against T's Pac-Man, where DeBuzz is going to have to either, like, get, he's going to have to get his mileage wherever he can with, when Luma is alive, because he's not going to get a lot of Luma. <laughs> so far, though, we're almost perfectly even until landing fair. He's just blocking all the Luma hits. DeBuzz even tries to up smash out of the corner there, but... Yes. Luma not actionable at the time, so she just gets punched in the face again. I'm waiting for the side B. Here it comes. Oh, oh he was buffering it too. Dare? Oh, no, it wasn't even believing it. Oh, well, there's the up tilt. Probably should have. Probably should have done uh, Luma position off stage for a dare there, but did not get the opportunity to. I think Harold was just swinging these hitboxes. Yeah, I honestly think that, like, if DeBuzz was given the opportunity to, to set up, he... Oh, that air dodge was scary, especially on Town and City. Oh, my goodness. The side V just destroys Luma, too. I don't think DeBuzz would have picked this matchup. I think both Olimar and Min Min are better for this than Rosa is. He's, he's and gone. another side V. Oh, almost. It is Town, so it's a tall top blast zone. So he's going to be killing a lot more with... It didn't go. Oh, the buzz. buzz, please kill him. You need the stock. Up tilt is sitting Bowser nowhere. Don't let, don't let nowhere. Hero keep going. Please. Okay, but he got rid of Luma, and now what does he do at the ledge? He can't stall forever here, right? F tilt or back air. Oh, okay. My goodness. Hero is so patient, dude. He'll wait till the very last second every time. That's two stocks. If he kills Luma again, okay. The buzz gets the up smash. Off of we the need, Lunar Dash. We need these Rosa Dares off stage. Oh, that damage is kind of, kind of nice, actually. Oh, okay. Boop, free forward smash. Yeah, Luma's that is the one thing. Like, Bowser's Flame Breath is very good and does a stupid amount of oh damage. My but if you whiff it, you're just a sitting duck for a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and he just hit it with destroyed. Blue. <laughs> that side B, like, power driver is so funny. Okay. This the buzz, is scary. The buzz is almost dying. Oh no, you whiffing grabs. Okay. We got Luma back though. Did we though? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. He's <laughs> taking so much damage though. Yes, actually. Harold's <sighs> very patient. I think a four till might. Oh, no, he just wants That's the damage. so much damage yeah, on he, Luma. Like a tiny little hit will get rid of it oh, now. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, the buzz though, he's, he's still staying resilient here. He can still get the stock. 
Oh, oh, that timing on up B was perfect, I think. That dare looked like it was over for him. That tilt to two frame, not going to connect. Oh, nice. Luma in the clutch. You can always count on if Luma. If the buzz can take one more stock here, it's still not no up. Way. Not no SGGs. way you did that? The That's air to air? Super duper GG's. Dude, Bowser side B's frame six. What are you, why so are you surprised good. about that? It's frame six. No, that was really good. It's a frame six command so grab. Good. Let him rock. So good. That was insane. Because I I'd heard that Hero personally said that he wanted to yeah, fight. Yeah, he specifically said, send me in for Damn. device. Too stocked. Which is, I mean, it's it's uh, two no. completely different play styles. It's literally just defense versus attack, but specifically... Um, whiff punish attack. Whiff punish like, attack. He's, he's very, very bait punish. Yeah. Yeah, I in think it's crazy for someone to like never play the buzz ever in their life and, and say, say like, I want to fight yeah, the buzz. Yeah, let me fight the buzz and then two stock them with Bowser. In Japan, we have a term called kuzushi. I don't know if you've heard of it before, but it's specifically the direct translation of it is break, mm. and it's about um, a good way to describe kuzushi is um, how some Minmin players think the Minmin DK matchup is even. Because Kuzushi, the moment you get in, you destroy yeah. their game plan and it everything turns into chaos. Oh, and I that see. is uh, a really good way of describing. So it's like how, how we, we call matchups volatile. In, Vol in yeah, it's volatility. It yeah. uh, revolves around that. Yeah, that makes sense. Where like nobody's nobody's ever like safe. You're yeah. you're always winning by a lot or you're neck and neck. Yeah. Yeah, I think that describes Hero so good. I think he's super good at playing the person too. Yeah, like I can I, tell I've he, definitely he knows noticed how to that make from people really him. scared. I've noticed that from watching him, like even just today, but like his, him in general, I've definitely noticed that he's very good at like <laughs> almost the Sky J style yeah. of game, where he's very much will like make you afraid to exist in a specific space, and then when you try and like vacate that, he's waiting for yeah. waiting for you to like jump. Yeah, that might be the way he keeps winning with Bowser. Oh, Ken. I talked to oh, Ken. He sent Sonic in for Bowser. They're that scared of him. I talked to Ken earlier, and he was joking about how he saw that the timer was, well, it might not be a joke, but he saw that the timer was seven minutes. So he was like, I'm just going to camp everyone out. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. No, it's it crew shouldn't battle. be seven minutes. It's not supposed yeah. to be seven minutes. Ken has the opportunity to do something very <laughs> funny here. The first timeout in crew battle. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, you can't actually timeout in crew battle. Like, even if he does timeout, they just reset stocks just and percents. Just stop playing again. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, it is an opportunity to do something very Ken funny. Ken creates an infinite loop. Please, Ken. No. The crew battle never ends. He camps for seven Ken, minutes we with actually no stocks have a real taken. Bracket yeah. to do. <laughs> and Ken, then they please. reset it again, and he just camps yeah. for seven minutes again with no stocks <laughs> taken. We will never start bracket. But uh, I actually, funny enough, Ken usually loses to Hero, right? Mm -hmm. With Sonic. Someone, can someone explain that one to I me? I think that's definitive proof that Bowser beats Sonic. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, look out, Sonic. That's what that means. Like, Sonic's running terrified of Hero. So. Okay, but he has stock advantage. Yeah, with the context of the crew battle, we finally have more than a one stock lead. I believe. I think this is actually the first time. Um, yeah, oh, no, no. There's a one stock. Oh, it's because Herald. Team Hungrybox have a two stock lead. That's why. Harold went crazy. He's camping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually when I watch Kin versus Harold, it's like Kin plays so patiently, racks up all this damage on Harold, but doesn't get the kill, and then Harold does like four hits or less. Uh oh. Oh, we might, he really <laughs> we is might be about to see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can't get a hit. Oh, Run straight oh, into no. flame breath. Oh, Spin no. dashing right into the flame breath. Let me just get like 70% sure. They're already going for call outs. This is absolutely terrifying. And he's just literally like ran the opposite direction of Ken and went, but what if you were over here? <laughs> <laughs> I really like... I mean, it's just because I don't watch Bowser a lot, but I just like how Harold always finds the forwarder somehow. Like, he, like, jumps in. He's playing mind the games, really too, with well. these forwarders. Like, he did he did full hop in and then double jumped right as he was about to land in front of Ken, and Ken almost dropped shield. Oh! Yeah. Oh! oh. oh <laughs> only not Bowser. On, only not Bowser. on Bowser. <laughs> and not on town. On a lot of other characters, though. Yeah. 
down throw? No. Nah, he wants stage positioning for sure here. 180 on her. He needs to die now. Okay. Oh, the sure. classic. Oh my god. <laughs> Bowser looked like he the teleported DI into Sonic's hands there. I mean, grabbing Bowser is one of the easiest things to do in Smash Ultimate. I would hope so. He's like half the screen. Trash for that get up attack. <laughs> Just as you said that, Ken was the grab. <laughs> okay, he Listen, tried to grab he's him not from like, like me. Yeah. He tried to grab him from like across the stage. Like he's like, please run into my sonic arms. Please. Yeah, that up air. Oh wait. Oh, oh, wait, no, wait. It's... He actually punished him for up airing him. And see the the big thing too Punch is you. like Harrow's nowhere close to death on this stock. No. Ken is very close to death on this stock, and Harrow's already taken three. So if he just takes one here. Already fantastic uh, continuous continuation for the lead for Team Age. Yeah, and Ken is going to play as if his life depends on it because it kind of does. I don't think he wants to lose his stock at all. No, he like he wants to even this back up. Oh, yeah. oh and there it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, is this guy. He's and that waiting is every time. A fourth stock taken for Harrow on Team Hungry Box. Yeah, Team Gax now down to eight stocks only. Yeah, they've got. Two stocks left of Ken, and then three stocks from Akola, and three stocks from T. And that is all of them. Now, how funny would oh it be? God. If oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's all right. He's all right. If the air dodge up to platform, if that if that town and city platform oh. was not currently active, Ken was in uh, some capital trouble. I think Ken's going to dive really soon to Fort Smash. He is at 30% strides. Clutch tech, by the way, on the yeah, platform. Safe I think he's going to die to Fort Smash. That's strides. Right. Strides don't put that evil in the world. <laughs> Could bring something curses up uh, right now. Watch, forward smash him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, has, it has armor, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Well, it, it has Bowser's normal tough guy armor. Yeah, I think that would be get up attack. Maybe. If I was beat oh, forward, oh, he hurt me. He oh hurt my me. god, no! He knows. Stop that! Oh, boy, he's going. Ah! Stop that immediately. Okay, okay, okay. okay. He's, okay. Dead. he's dead. That's right. okay. He took a stock. That's plenty. Crisis averted. Yeah. Who? Who's who's team H box got next on the on the board? You we definitely do not send mute ace. I think riddles. I'm thinking riddles. Oh, riddles against riddles. Riddles, riddles wouldn't riddles he wouldn't did. go. Obviously wouldn't go Kazia against Ken Sonic, but he would go Terry. And Wait, riddles is Terry's like very good against Sonic. This is a terrible idea, but I. Uh, they have Akola and T, other Chad, than Ken. They're really, right. they're really sending riddles against the Sonic. He's like 2 and 0 on Ken. <laughs> they're really doing this. Lima versus. Lima's okay against Sonic. You're fine with staying, Terry? He's, okay. They're actually asking. By the way, if he wants yeah, riddles to play is like Sonic. right behind us. I said this before, but I just want to mention the fact that I watched, uh, like, before yeah. the stream started, I watched Lima play loads of friendlies with um, Akola, and Lima was like winning the majority of yeah, the games. Yeah, Lima's Lima's really good against Sonic, but I think the the per, like the Lima specific person that I like I would want to use him for would be T. I think Lima oh, against T. Lima against T is is not like a an easy matchup, but it's a good matchup. Mm. And then obviously Mutase for Akola because Mutase is the, the oh yeah player. of course there's a yeah. Mutase on so. yeah Mutase. But I'm just saying, in, in friendlies, Lima was looking good. very comfortable against Akola when I was watching yeah, him. Yeah, Lima's just good against Hi, Mr. I think Lima's just sick. I think he's just different with it. I think he might uh, be I think good. Do, do you want to... Do you have another... You can oh. have this headset. Or oh, you, oh I don't Mr. Know if Ramino. One, you can take mine, too, if you want. Guys, we're getting ramen on the couch. The one and only. The one and only Mr. Milk first himself. <laughs> So what are your thoughts on, I guess, what are your thoughts on crew battles? What are your thoughts on not getting picked for the crew battle? <laughs> hey, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I was even watching, honestly. We've just been, I've just been grinding the entire time. So uh, it's currently, I don't know what's happening. Currently uh, nine stocks to eight. Team okay. Hungrybox is in the lead. They're sending in riddles. Ken okay. has two stocks left. The two remaining people on Team Gact, other than Ken, who's currently in, are T and Akola. The two remaining people on Team Hungrybox, other than Riddles, who's going in right now, uh -huh. are Lima and Mutes. Ooh, okay, so Team Japan's one stock behind, right? Currently so one stock behind. It seems like they have the 
a more stacked lineup ready. I, Only because of Akola. Uh, but I would, like, Mudeis is kind of the Akola yeah. slayer. Yeah. Oh, that's true, Mudeis actually. Is so really I guess they're good. saving Mudeis for Akola. That would make sense. Oh, the Terry, the Terry coming out. out. Well, Riddles is definitely warm. We've been playing for, like, two hours yeah. straight. So. Yeah, I didn't see Riddles, like, move from the, like, setup since we put oh, them up. Riddles, yep. Riddles came in. He was like, yo, you want to go to the Capcom store? He, like speed ran the Capcom store and got a Mega Man plushie and then immediately went back to grinding. Mega yeah. Man plushie. I didn't even know he was a Mega Man He fan. loves Mega Man, yeah. Huh, that's interesting. Riddles okay, well, they already I couldn't even, check I couldn't even get Mega him to Man go to the to the jump 4. store with me. Nope, uh, I had to, I was like looking for somebody to go with me. I'm not gonna go with you after. I, I would love to because I nobody wanted store. to go with me. I love that store, the <laughs> One Piece, the one piece well, section of the jump store. There's a, there's a big yeah. pillar too that has like all of the anime characters' heights and you can compare yourself to yeah. see like who you're as oh, tall as. I think I saw it actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm taller than Brooke, whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> ladies. Enough about that. Um, he almost got F smashed there. <laughs> you guys think Riddles is capable of uh, two, two stock? No, two stocking uh, Ken. Yeah, it's two. I think he's capable of it, especially when he gets go. But That's it's not going to be easy. Yeah, if any character can do it, it's Terry. You know, Ken actually has a pretty good Terry himself. Oh, does he? Yeah. I didn't know Ken played Terry. Ken just plays a lot of characters for fun. Huh. Terry's Terry's there. He has go now. Oh, Only seen him play Sephiroth and. Oh, wow, that's not good. That backer was a yeah. little bit too good, actually. The placement was almost perfect, I would say. Eight stocks to eight, actually. Dead even, pretty much. Riddle's just, you know, he wanted to make it a good show. And remember, this was your idea as the hey, H-Box was it, your idea? it was my idea, and Riddle said, yeah, I want to play Sonic. I mean, so... I don't, I don't know. I think I feel Riddle's like pride would not let him say. But I'm, I'm also, yeah, exactly. no. I'm also pointing out the fact that these two fought at my Asuma and Ken got 3-0. That so is, I'm that not, is true. I'm not saying That's it fair. with like no, but no this, basis. This is, this is Ken who wants to time out and crew battle. That's true. This is it's the Ken who came over and said, "Oh, there's a timer. Hell yeah." This is not looking good actually <laughs> at all. Yeah, Ken's, every time he has Riddles on like disadvantage, he's just doing so much damage. And now Riddles is playing the game of Catch the Sonic, which whenever I see people play this game, game. Yeah. I can tell that their mental strength is slowly getting drained. It seems this way. That was really good tech. Oh, oh. wait, this go though? I mean, he's got go now. Yeah. It seems like Riddles is playing a little bit more aggressive now before he was trying to camp, but now he's just kind of going in and pressing a lot of buttons. So let's see if that works out for him. Uh, Gets the burning knuckle, knuckle too. Really I actually, burn knuckle through the spin dash kind of crazy. Wait a minute. He needs to make this counter right now. Let's go. If he gets this stock, he can still. Oh! oh! It huge almost worked. Bet. It almost worked. Bet. I think he wanted to like land with uh, power wave and like get hit confirmed from it. Yeah, I don't really see Riddles going for those raw. Um, What's that move called? I don't even know. Which one? Buster, Buster Wolf? Wolf? Buster Wolf. Yeah. yeah, you don't see him do that often. Oh, he tried to, to land with Power Wave again. He, he keeps going for this auto-cancel power dunk, uh, but Ken is not Ken having is any of it. He's just staying everything. the hell away from him. <laughs> He's actually dodging everything. Ken's just not getting hit. This is like this is about to be a three-stock, technically. Okay, there it is. That's that fine. That's good. No, that's not oh, it. Maybe he should no. go for Power Dunk instead? No, Power Dunk. Like, Power you, Dunk You can get in, but I don't know. Oh, oh smash another up smash. Oh, wait, hold on. Dude. Ken oh, is really the, close to... He needs to at least take one stock, man. Come on. Ken is yeah. really close to game at three stock. This will be really bad for Team Hungrybox. They've had a lead oh, wait, the entire crew stage. battle so far, too. Oh, Ken almost got an air back air. Wait, hold on. He has to go right. He definitely he gets a stock. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Okay. All right. He's in this. Crisis averted. Riddles will get another stock now from he's dead here. a ridiculous. Good DI in. I think if he died away, he would have died from four there. Okay. Oh, oh hold on. Hang on. He's, he's cooking. Yeah, he's mind. not cooking. He, he was cooking. He was for a second. Nah, Ken's not going to let that. Nice try. Good attempt. All right, Lasso. So what do you think about that uh, decision? Listen, man. I he 3 0'd him. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, you had something to go off of, you know? I had data. A hungry bug doesn't seem happy. Matchup is terrible. <laughs> I had data. Yeah. I feel like Shoto's against Ken in general can be quite tough. I think uh, Lima now, right? Oh yeah, yeah, right? You know if you went Terry Lima. against him at Maisuma? Yeah. Yeah, he did. He was right going there. a lot of uh, Terry in, like, questionable matchups, I think, for Kazuya. And it was working. I think I that's, 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 that's kind of just the, the general right strat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I think that's just the plan for reals right now. It's, it's working really just well. Just the, the general stratagem. What do you guys think about Bayonetta? I don't know. I think Boomin. Really 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 there you I think go. Boomin and really 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 Lima are really good. That's what I'm saying. I think Boomin and Lima are really good. I've been friends with Lima long enough and seen him do enough wild shit with that character. Oh, wait, no. My real opinion on Bayo, she's annoying. That's she's also definitely a, annoying. a very real opinion. She's fun to watch, not fun to fight against. I don't like getting <laughs> comboed forever. And then I also play Sora, so they just mash air dodge, and they get bass within, and oh, then reverse on yeah. me. Yeah. So Bayo's air dodge fun. is like maybe one of my least favorite things. I mean, it's frame one. Frame one, frame one, frame one broken. With, with that within, I, so broken. I think any option is frame one, like Luigi Cyclone. Or ZSS Jab. Well, you can't really do that in disadvantage, <laughs> but we're talking about disadvantage specifically, like Luigi Cyclone or Snake Grenade, uh, Bayo Air Dodge. There's probably a few more, right? Um, it's quite broken, I think. Yeah, it's so uh, ridiculous. Yeah. You know, I used to think like all this was okay because the Bayos weren't killing me early anymore, but then they started killing me early also. So now I just like <laughs> now yeah. they they I learned like how to this. do like double witch twist off the top again. Well, that's the whole argument against like Bayo being good. It's like, oh, well, she can't kill. At but certain percents, she yeah, can. Yeah, well, if, if there's, there's a certain threshold, if you go over that, then she has trouble killing a little bit, it's similar to Sheik. But like, unlike Sheik, she can also just kill you at 50 if she, she gets like the right combo. She also like sometimes can just feel like up tilt back airing you. Oh, they went FD. Oh, oh no. This is a very Japanese stage, I'd say. Mm. What about it is Japanese? Well, Elaborate the Japanese players love playing defensively, uh, from my experience <laughs> at least. And uh, I know this is Hero's favorite stage. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is Ken's favorite stage. Well, it's also just a good Sonic, Sonic stage in general. I agree for sure. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily have the, the ability to quantify it being a Japanese stage, but it's certainly a Sonic stage. Well, they all banned this stage against me as well, every single person, which is surprising. Because, I mean, I know I play Sheik, but... They're scared of you. Yeah, well... No, I'm banning FD versus Sheik all the time, actually. It definitely happens more in Japan than anywhere else. Because, um... Most, peop most players are more wary of the platforms, like the raindrop combos and stuff, uh, and ban that against Sheik, but all the Japanese players have been banning FD, actually. Now, we were talking about fast combo escape options, and yes, Bayonetta certainly has bat within to just say no. That was good. But uh, Sonic also has a frame two air dodge, so like he's not immune to the, the discussion of being a criminal. Yeah, it's also hard to edge guard or like Gim Sonic. He can just pretty he much just, always bring it back. Yeah, he always back. gets back. That was funny about watching this match right now. Remembering all the times I see Ken lose to Bale in Smash 4. Who lost to Bale, you said? Ken. Ken oh, Sonic Bale. I don't think I ever seen him like actually win, win. this matchup. <laughs> but <laughs> when I'm watching it ultimate, I'm like, chance? Okay. We're I think Como did pretty good against Bale back then with his uh, oh. Sonic. Oh! Yeah, he's very defensive. It helped Ken just barely got past Lima's fair there. Right, Might still be dead. This is going to be huge for Lima if he doesn't, uh, doesn't die here. Well, yeah. Ken is about to hit that percent threshold that you were talking about earlier. Yep, yep. I think it's like for Sonic, it's like almost exactly 115 where stuff stops working. It's also just hard to Ooh! catch. I really wish the raw force smash worked there. It's hard to catch Sonic with like an up tilt as well. Like that's yeah, not up tilt bear happen. is not gonna work. Well, it will work, but it's not gonna hit. It's not gonna land. Yeah. Oh. This will work though. Bad Ken guy. Do this. Ken keeps all getting the way hit back. by dive kick. Like, oh, it's okay. just kidding. Uh, it's untackable. Lima is not letting it be him. Yeah, is dive kick like good for Sonic? Like I don't I, see Bayo. I never see anybody use using dive ever. kick. I'll have to ask Lima later. I think he's just using it like to time it right when he releases the spin dash to avoid yeah. like, the invincibility. Yeah. Of oh, and it was also he kept doing he kept canceling the spin charge. Right. And so I think Lima was like going for the moment that he canceled it. Mm -hmm. Because it's like one of the few things that Bayo has that's actually like not terrible yeah. <laughs> to hit a, a grounded opponent from the air because a lot of the time you'll see Bayonetta go for like short hop ABK right. in those situations, but you're not gonna hit a crouching or a spinning Sonic with short hop ABK. Nope. You have to like do it all the way uh, above him. And ABK used to be good in Smash 4, pre-patch ABK. ABK is very that. good in this game. I don't, zero want to remember that. Uh, I don't want to remember that. That was not playtested. You don't remember that? I remember that. No, it was so unplaytested. So bad. Probably going to send T Off if I had to guess. Really? They're Off anchoring with T. Okay. They don't, yeah, yeah they that don't makes want sense. It. That makes sense, actually, yeah. I mean, he 
uh, he's very good against uh, Akola too. Like yeah, you were talking about. I it actually where, think this might be. Or, a, yeah, Sean was talking choice. about it. They were Lima and Akola were playing, and it was like last stock, last hit every single game. Yeah. I think Akola did win most of the games. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Still pretty but, good. But like it's. It, but Lima will probably at this, least get yeah, a Cola to last. This is off. not going to be a matchup check or anything. It's no, just, if, Lima, if a Cola wins or Lima wins, it's just like. Well, do you think a Cola has a lot of Bayo experience? That's what I was going to say because Lima has a lot of Steve experience. I don't think the experience yeah. is like weighed evenly personally, but also a Cola sometimes goes into gear where he like just doesn't destroys everyone, yeah. like doesn't get hit, doesn't die, like kills you. At Wait, how does he already basically. have stone? I missed, I looked away for like a second and he's I already, wait, he's dead. Oh, no, no, he's not. No, he's not. Nah, it was nah, close nah. though. But he is in a terrible position. Like, he's yeah, gonna ba take a lot Bale's more damage. Gonna, yeah, yeah, Bale's gonna like, keep hitting him here. Honestly, Bale's good against Steve offstage. Like, yeah. Dude, Bale's good against Steve. Yeah. Don't even like. That's oh! it. <laughs> yes! Wow, look at that. No, no way. Leminators rise up, baby. That's true. Death was insane, and I think a cola could have avoided like Another thing that's oh that was really good smash. why are yeah, you actually. bullet arting there <laughs> oh my god 80 Don't question damage it. it's three lima. grabs trust the process i lima tells me that all the time where like i'll get stressed out about him going super low and thinking that he's gonna die and he's just like just trust the process wait a minute he does die though I mean, he has these more he than has any so much. Has oh, wait, hold on hold on he's still going up air up air bear I think is such a Hot combo. He's yeah. only like not dead because he didn't sweet spot the bear. I'm pretty sure. Okay. We we didn't even talk about it versus Sonic because it's not as applicable in the matchup. But in this matchup, which time? Which time is going to be huge for yeah, Lima? Yeah, that which time yeah, on minecart is going to be I'll really, really well. crazy. Are, Are there any bales in Japan? Actually, chat's asking. Uh, I, there's, I can't a, think there of oh, there's a really good bale that I lost to at yeah. um, uh, Wave. Yeah. Currently, he's the best mm. Bayo in Japan. What's his tag? Uh, tam, 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 tam P, I forgot. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot yeah, his yeah, tag. Yeah. Oh, it's something it's along the I'm sure Chad knows. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a few really good Bayos. A lot of them are online. And I know Okola is born and raised is, yeah, in the, the depths of Smash Mate. Sumo Mate Prodigy. But it, it's Lima. There it is. It's, it's Lima. Yes! Lima's from one of like Lima's from a, one of the few places in US that is like super banning Steve. Like, I'm pretty sure yeah, Guy but and like, but like play like the a reason they sets. they were super heavily banned Steve is because DFW was Steve oh. Central for Big a damage. while. Yeah. Oh, this could be dead. Oh, this actually could be one dead. Field, this could be. Hold on, we getting a three stock I mean, from Lima. I mean, even what if he didn't die, like fifty four percent from a down tilt, and that was a dropped combo too. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. okay. If, if you think about it, Bale has a lot of good tools against Steve. Like, yeah. um, ABK no, is good against, like, Minecart. Uh, Wish Time's good against Minecart. Offstage is good against Steve. Yeah. This is one of those matchups that is, like, sleeper Steve loses. Yeah, I can definitely see that. It's, uh, but it's not a common character, and Bale is hard. Like, don't get me wrong. Bale in this game is very hard to, like, pick up and play. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we're not going to see, oh, like, no many people it. picking up Bale. Yeah, like Lima read the tech there too. Was he was like really trying, trying to read the tech. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to get the wish time, time in case he did like immediate mic card after the tech. Wait a minute, he has a little bit too much experience. In the Look at these low pokes. Wait a minute, you guys got to pick Lima and Mutes against the cola. Wow, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Was that down tilt back down here? Tilt, down tilt, down tilt, I don't yeah. think I've seen that before. He definitely di that down tilt in. <laughs> yeah, he did. But I mean, he Lima. probably didn't know that down tilt comboed in no, the back here. No, I had no idea. I didn't know that. Wait a minute. I only know that because he has hit me with that before. Wait a before. minute. Did you guys yeah, just like that, yo, that was hard counter wild. pick a cola right here? You got like Mute Ace little and bit. Lima, like the people that are like. But now they got to deal with T. In Steve Hill. They T might T might go Kazia. Uh, which if he goes Kazia, he's even, throwing. Yeah, Kazia is a really bad Kazia against too. Bayo is terrible. It's especially and Lima's <laughs> Bayo. I think so T good. has to go Pac Man here. Yeah, well, T has a clutch up right now. T needs to just abuse the fact that he is T Pac Man. T Pac Man. He cannot go Kazuya. Not in this matchup. No. I think Bale actually does good against Kazuya and Steve. Yeah. Like both of them. That's why yeah. Lima's doing so good in his region when yeah. Kazuya and Steve is running crazy. I mean, if you want to hear my hot take, I think Let's Bale's a sleeper hot top tier. I think personally. Bale, I, don't, I, I wouldn't say top tier. I would say close so to top tier. But I would say pretty dang pretty close. Pretty damn close to top tier. But that's a hot take. I don't, I don't think that's that hot. I, I don't think it should be a hot I take. I think with both, like, especially Bloom and Lima both doing very well recently, I think more and more people are starting to be like, I know oh. Bloom <laughs> thinks highly of Bale. Uh, all I mean. the Bale players, like the top level Bale players, they all think really highly of Bale. I think, uh, and... The, I think the biggest problem was Bayo was always going to be a late meta character in Smash I agree, Ultimate. Yeah. 
And so we saw for so long her just be kind of not bad, but mediocre. Mediocre. Where like you had players like Lima, you had players like uh, Mistake slash Tamim up in Canada for the longest time, where they would just like they would do fine. They they would be like top 32, top 16, but never like huge top eight upsets. Yep. And so they would kind of just fly under the radar. No, for dig sure. Is some buffs, I think what, that is, what, he, what is he what is he doing? He started it did. Yeah, I definitely think. Uh, the Bale players have just gotten so good with this character because yeah. they basically have no choice but to get really good with this character. It's, it's definitely a character yeah. that's designed to only progressively get better, yeah. uh, like Last says, so not too surprising. Also, the buffs helped a lot. Yeah, she did get buffed. Um, don't don't forget bunch. that. <laughs> T yeah, really has to clutch T up T anchor with Pac-Man. T anchor with Pac-Man. Zeta, very own T Pac-Man. Yeah, I think it's cool that e Zeta is still the, the last player. I mean, I they... Double A anchored with Zeta. They had both Akola and T. Yeah. The only reason oh, yeah. they didn't use Gact is because he's the captain. He's not allowed to play. Oh, Gact, he's yeah. fine. The Gact Patin. Oh, oh, no. Up you go. Oh, oh here we go. Up you go. Oh, what a combo, combo start. He's You're dead, dead, I think. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, almost. I think he only he SDI'd, SDI'd the down. thing that mattered. Well, he DI'd end. in on the last ABK, and I think if Lima jumped towards him instead of for a being, it would have worked. Nah, I think Lima's still playing super hot. Oh, Lima's I, playing amazing right now. I think T's got to be very careful. I mean, I mean we're, we've been praising Bale a lot, but we should also yeah, praise Lima. Yeah, we should Lima. praise Lima for being as I'm, good I'm as sorry, he is with Lima, this character. Lima's a city making. It's so good like, right now. Bale and are like synonymous with Bale. Basically. He's just picking the right options against everything This right is now. such a scary oh. spot to be in against T, but that was the correct thing to do for Lima, is just sit there and hold shield, yeah. especially underneath PS2 platform. Because yeah. the way that the bell works is it has to like bounce down on you from above. Right. So if you sit below PS2 platform, he either has to hit you with the initial throw, or not at all, because it'll just like stay on platform and you're yeah. fine. But Bayo is very tall, which is a problem for her there. I also think Lima is really patient in situations like this like very high pressure like very nervous oh, oh. oh wait hold on he's choking a little that, bit there i think yeah. you could have up smash out of shield yeah that was a free up smash for sure but i i think that's a really good way of describing how lima plays he just kind of is waiting to do his thing and will wow. let you like whiff in his face yeah. as much as he as much as he feels he's very like. reactive and patient and, and, and he gets away with that a lot like he does a lot of crazy stuff just because people get scared that's it but that's it see that's yeah. unfortunate i know that lima smart. thought that dare was going to destroy the hydrant for sure it like be super safe but it just barely didn't destroy that yeah it was close to be fair back air though that's not good for t that's terrible yeah nah, now t uh, every every little bit that Lima gets on him is less work that Mudace has to do yeah, and Mudace makes it harder for three stocks against Pac like Yeah, you get you get three stocks against T Pac-Man, like T's good. I don't know many people on this planet who I would trust to take three stocks from Mudace with even only two. Yeah, well, I know, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Mudace doesn't like the Pac-Man matchup. He doesn't matchup. like the Pac-Man matchup, but he's still Mudace. Yeah, he's yeah, still going to be a stock ahead as well. Maybe two stocks Wait, if, if on, Lima can do his thing here. Up, yeah. But T's kind of cooking right now. T is cooking right now. Oh. Okay, you have the belt. Oh, that's not good. That's it. Miss right? input? Yeah. Miss yeah. input? All right, well, it's still doable. Two stocks to three uh, stocks. It's going to come down to the anchors, man. Lima was playing so hot. What happened? Yeah, he was doing good. He got T Pac Man. That missing foot, though. I know I Lima didn't want to pull it Lima. Or like Lima, come here. Uh, that was, we, that was we gotta, good. Honestly, that was really we gotta, good. We got to ask was, some questions. That was Destroyed yeah. We got to We got to ask some questions. Cola was definitely put in a blender. What's up? <laughs> Super good. <laughs> <laughs> Super good. <laughs> Oh, is that that's the combo down to in the back here? I mean, Only VDIN. We were just like in between like a wall and like a an anvil and stuff. So he just did, and you can't react to it on hit. Uh. Yeah, I just threw it out there. And he exploded. That was good though. Good reaction. To his that's DIN. the second game I ever took off him. I'm happy. Really? No. He, well, we were back and forth, but he just wins. He knows how to win, even yeah, if like it's true. you're you're winning. Yeah, that's why he's he played well so though. Good. Oh shit. <laughs> I think Mude's got this. I don't know. Wait, don't actually, know. I don't know anymore because the timer is seven minutes. If it was infinite timer like it's supposed to be, I think Mude's got this. I haven't seen Mute play super well yet since we've been in Japan, so. That's true. Huh? I don't know. They're right. They look right. It's also not the greatest Peach matchup, I think. How many people are watching? I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, are, are we on ten, a side screen? Ten billion. The ent oh, I see. 10 billion viewers. 
Well, okay, bye. <laughs> I won't let you get away from me. Does Zemo watch anime? I don't even Maybe know. Maybe does. A little does? bit. Okay. Not a ton. I made him watch. So this, and I'm taking full credit for this. Before Lima started popping off, i.e. Okay. like right before Collision, um, I made him sit down in a Discord call with me for like four hours, and we watched the entirety of Ping Pong the Animation in one oh, sitting. Oh, that's a good one, And actually. then right after we did that, he got fifth at Collision and beat Tweak and Kurama and Shiny Mark. So that's the <laughs> secret. Honestly, like sports anime or manga for that matter, they help. Like they give you motivation. For practice. They're so like, good. It sounds like, cheesy and no, like people are like, probably gonna make fun for this take, but honestly, they actually help. Yeah. If you want like to be motivated to like practice for yeah, a exactly, while, yeah, exactly, yeah, they're so good. Like uh, ping pong, the animation, Kuroko's basket, yeah, Hajime no Ippo. Hajime no Ippo. Hajime no Ippo is one of my really favorites. Really good one. And then uh, and even, Haikyuu's good as well. Even like the the super, I call them the meathead fighters. Yeah. Where it, which is like Kengen Ashura, Baki, like they those. Still they, they still help. They still help. Because you watch those and you're like, you're pumped, none man. of this makes sense, but hell yeah, man. No, yeah, I agree. Blue Lock, too. That's a really good one. Oh, Blue Lock as well, yeah, for sure. Who's on the mic? Right now it is me, last, Mr. R to my right, and Strides to my left. Yeah, I've kind of been here a while, though. Been here for a like, while. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if someone. <laughs> no, I'll just stay for the whole crew out. This is you the might end. as well. I mean, yeah. It's about to end. What's and the what's the baseball one? Ace of the Diamond. Ace of yeah. the Diamond's really oh, good. Oh, that's a pretty yeah, underrated like, one, actually. I re look, I'm a I'm a baseball player slash watcher myself. Yeah. Um, and so like while I like the other sports anime, baseball is like my favorite sport. So Ace of the Diamond was like my my favorite one. Read major. I mean, I've heard good things about it. It's definitely. Major there's also a, a rugby one or not a rugby American football. Sorry. Ice Shield. Which one? Ice Shield. Ice Shield, uh, well, yeah. That that's one's not, that's good. like Never that's like it, weird dystopian future American football more than <laughs> yeah. But Ice Shield twenty one is really good. It's the same artist as One Punch Man. Oh really? Oh that's right, yeah. Alright, well enough about anime. No, I they think we're taking a long time. <laughs> they're, they're taking forever. They this are is taking perfect forever. anime fill conversation. Yeah, that's true. Last Wait, hold on, just kidding. It's starting. I actually spent like two hours earlier. Give, uh, convincing Hbox to read Berserk, and he just ordered. Oh, the, the, he just ordered the full thing oh on no. Amazon. So I'm, I'm Two going to. Berserk nerds I've turned Hbox into a. Last. That's my favorite manga. Or one of my favorites. I uh, like Hbox was like, describe it to me, and I said, no, you need to read it. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, this is it. Team Gax versus Team Hbox down to the last two people. Mu Ace has a stock lead, and honestly, I really want to see what kind of Mu Ace we're going to get. Like, I think he can play so defensive and like patient in this situation. But also, he could just blow up Pac-Man. I mean, the thing is that like Pac-Man has so many tools to wall out Peach. Like he's pretty unique in not having to get near Mutace at all. And if yep. you can fight Mutace without getting near Mutace, that's a very good thing for you. Yeah, and like traditionally, Peach kind of struggles oh, you with might be like dead. Uh, zoners. I think that was good. Di and down here, yeah. down and in, or down and away rather. Yeah, if you if he di I was about to say if he di down and in, he died. Yep. Yeah, that turn of hitting there might have been curtains. And honestly, being down one stock to three against Mutace. I want to say, might have to pack it up. I don't know. He's kind of doing it right now. He's, I he's still got that stock oh, disadvantage, and yeah, the oh, wrong way grab is going to give Mute a free one. Uh, Peach does have one thing going on for her in this matchup. She's pretty good at taking out the Hydrant. Yeah, yeah he's just fair. floating over it. Oh, oh, you're oh. Dead. oh, he doesn't miss the those, though. I forgot. Oh, let's see. That's, okay, that's good for Mute. See if he can uh, get this ledge trap. That was. Okay. Did you see the way that Turnip like stood on the trampoline for a second? That was. Yeah, weird. That was a weird interaction. Oh, he's fine. He's Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man does die off stage. Like, 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 two frame with Turnip. If yeah. like if Pac-Man dies off stage, take a shot because I it's mean, very. It's never I, gonna I happen. I just kind of pressed down B. Hey, all right. All right. So you brought it back. The T is gonna have to pull something out here. One more stock. One. Oh, 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 but he's not. He has the B. Yeah. Get out of jail free. Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> they both crouch walked <laughs> underneath. That was really funny. Hold Floats on. Floats high to avoid the Galaga. Okay. Uh, Dang, it's go bell time. Bell, obviously. It's bell time. Mute Ace is not going to Stay underneath that platform, Mute, please. Yeah, Mute Ace will never get hit by the build in this situation. Let's trap. Right? Let's see. No. Yeah, it is. Yep. Uh, so oh, it's no. such a hard situation to be in against you, that bell. Let's trap. It's like. Your options are die, die, or die. Yeah. But you might be dead. Wait, 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 get him. Uh, I thought that turn of fair was coming. It's sure. just wait, difficult. T is going oh. crazy. Is T about to bring this all the way back? For he's not going to take now. five stocks, Oh, dude. he's doing it. Look wow. at the Galaga. Stop that. It's so Stop much that. damage. Wait. 
man. Nunes last stock situation is kind of folding right now. I'm so Nunes upset right now. That's crazy. Right now. It really came down to the very last stock for both Who? teams. Oh, he's dropping. He okay. Was okay, okay, okay. Oh, nice. yes. That was Forward so close to hitting. Wait, what is hold this turn on, about to on. do? We're covering is that turn some gonna hit? It is gonna oh. hit. Wait, he saved his Fine, jump though. though, of course. Okay, peak and corner pressure. Here. This is where Nunes thrives, in the game. guys. This is where he makes all of his money. We saw it at Summit. We saw it at so many other tournaments. That, Last like, stock uh, scramble situation. Uh, 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 oh what's happening? God. Tears running away. <laughs> Get out of there. T needs a breather. Okay, this is good for oh, T actually. Oh, this is so crazy. Wait, Back what grabs. a gutsy grab. It works oh, well, wait, 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 Pell, wait, wait, Pell, wait. Pell, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Really smart for Mudes to air dog oh, no. onto the stage, yeah. but he's going to get a, Dude, an orange. Please. Oh. Please. Ooh, okay. Parasol. So who's going to take this? Oh, my God. No, it's too close. Oh. oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's Peach. But he's. Oh, my wait. God. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. That was pixels away. How did he dodge that? Oh, wait, another bell. That's too. Never mind. Oh, no. He goes oh, for no. the he apple. another one. Oh, what, what is he cooking? Not the re wrap. How is you ace dodging? Just like ran around the <laughs> Mia is insane. so happy. That was an insane match. What a way to end Mute the crew battle. And we said it too during that last stock situation. That is where Mutace is the most confident and comfortable. I've never, seen him, I've never seen him lose Mutace those situations. never loses those. That was crazy. crazy. He actually was playing the Pac Man minigame like. He got past Dude, all I've, of those like apples and all I've of those like down I've never seen anybody play the bullet hell that well. Yeah, that was, mm. that was a crazy that was game. Crazy. Mute, mute. Yeah, you won. Come, Come here. Talk to the English. That's course. wild. Dang, you guys almost. Did. So, speak, speak on that. <laughs> He's got it. You know, I was just playing friendlies with Yumeki, but whose idea was it for me to anchor versus T? <laughs> I, I just got thrust into that position. I was just like, wait, what's going on here? Only two stocks. I need him to have one. Like, come on. Can I get another one? It was the right play to send Lima in versus Akola, though. Or, oh, or yeah, Lima sure. to fight Akola, rather. He, he did really good. Can Dang. we get another one, please? Was that was a, clutch. That was a classic was three days clutch. I don't know how he dodged all that stuff. Yeah. I don't know how he fell into his own trampoline. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how he died. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest, the first one I died to the down throw bell, I didn't even mean to go to the ledge. I was just like, oh, I guess I'm here now. Um, <laughs> and then the other one, I like, he like floated through, through both, and I had an item, so I, like, I checked him, because he tried to run up and grab the bell with the B-toss. Like, he B-tossed it onto the ledge, so I threw it like in between. Right. So he couldn't like run up and grab it easily, um, and it was enough to like kind of yeah. make some pressure. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I saw how you were able to air dodge the yeah. center because of that. There are so many like little moments where you're a few pixels away from dying. Like uh, I remember one time he threw the apple at you and you ran towards the right and it, like barely didn't catch you. Uh, that directional air dodge was like, wait, am I dead? I was yeah, like, is he gonna actually chase me down? Yeah, you're crazy. Oh like peace directional air dodge is so slow too. Like I thought she were dead. Like the apple was like bouncing. No, yeah, that apple like, literally chased me down like as a dog. <laughs> like I was actually like, oh my gosh, I'm nothing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The yep. Apple trampoline setup on the ledge, I was like, oh. Um. Yeah, he actually pulled out some. He tried to cheat you, honestly. That's he tries that's to. The thing about T2, I feel like he has like an infinite bag of tricks. Gimmicks, yeah, tricks and gimmicks. Yeah. Honestly, I think he should have just gone for the bell ledge trap again. But he did some crazy stuff with the trampoline and the apple. When I got grabbed out of the air, I was just like, oh my gosh. He grabbed I there? saw that. Yeah. I, saw I was that. really positioned to fair. He just grabbed. Forward air. Yeah. yeah. At, at death percent. He just grabbed. Yeah. I was like, there's no way we're out here. He doesn't. He's raw sometimes grabbing. Sometimes T doesn't care, I think. I think and then when he full up back at me, I'm just like, oh, nothing works. Yeah. <laughs> and it was it was Sour Bear, though. So you Was that? Fine. I yeah. can't tell the difference. I almost died. <laughs> you clustered, though. Oh it was looking scary at first. Yeah, but last busted. almost threw that for you guys, sending uh, riddles against Sonic. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. I, I don't know. Like, do something. Can't blame last. <laughs> I'll go. It's okay. I mean, I uh, riddles with 3 -0 can at my two mass. So. Oh, it's three, so you lied. That <laughs> matchup, bro. That matchup is trash. Oh, he. I guess he did. Yeah. yeah. 
Anyway. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna go practice a little bit All right. more. I think so congratulations, yeah. Really brackets, soon. brackets gonna be starting very soon. Box. All right, Mute I guess. Here, the goat. See y'all later. Yeah. Uh, oh, perfect timing. I, nobody's up there to like yeah. transition us Wa to a break. So right there. We might just like walk away. But yeah, in in my defense for that, one, Riddles beat the last two Sonics mm -hmm. that he played, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and two, was I supposed to like suggest sending Bayo as we saw did not go very well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or Peach for Sonic? Like Ken is just I, hard to fight. I think. Sending Mudes against Ken would have been good. But it doesn't matter. You guys won. Mudes won. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> Stop talking about me, chat. <laughs> good stuff. Good uh, stuff. Congratulations, Team glad, HBox. I'm glad that crew battle lived up <laughs> to Thank you for the help, as usual. My, my great concierge. Right. See, he's, advisor. He's, he's happy with it. What so shut up, chat. That, that, was a, that, was, that was the closest crew battle I think of all time. Yeah. It, all, very, was, it came down to the wire. It was very nice. I think you, you can't find a single crew battle that ends with that one stock percent count as high. Uh, it was very yeah, But very I think we're close. gonna we're gonna toss it to a quick break uh, before they start the pools. Which watch, watch. Are we going to a break? We'll start soon. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll say goodbye for now. Then see you guys in a little bit. And I think the first set, if you want to get ready and be excited for it, oh, is actually going to be Hero Zomba, yeah, Hero which is a, a very Ooh. hot set. Hero so Zomba, so bro. stay ready. Stick okay. here on VG Boot Camp on this Twitch channel. Also, go ahead and make sure that you check out twitch.tv slash gacked underscore oh, yeah. N For and twitch.tv slash hungrybox, where he'll be restreaming the East Geek Smash channel. And if you want to watch on YouTube, you can also go to youtube.com slash C slash East Geek Smash, uh, where you can check out the full Japanese stream if you're either one bilingual or a weeb, one or, or the other, streams. one or the other. But or yeah, we streams. have we have a 16-man double elimination bracket with four streams to make sure that you guys don't miss a single bit of the action, and also that we're not here until 3 a.m. Yeah, that'll uh, be really bad. We'll we'll see you in a little bit and stick around. Bye bye. <laughs>